I'm Yasmin. I'm out with my friend Noel. I'm showing him one of my favorite spots on Cape Cod. Very nice. Scusset Beach. It's a reservation. And if it's really sunny, get here early. Because if not, they will close the gates on you. Like they did on me. And I had to sneak in. So, Noel knows about fishing. I know nothing. I'll be learning. Yes. Yeah, I don't know this fish. Either. Are you used to doing freshwater fish? Freshwater, yeah. Mostly bass and um, trout. See, I didn't even know bass and trout were freshwater fish versus like what saltwater fish is. Mm -hmm. I'm learning. Fishing 101, bass, trout, those are freshwater. So Cape Cod seafood, a lot of it's fried. And fried clams are my favorite. Then they do scallops. Um, fish and chips to me is tasteless because they don't really season it. It's good, but it, it's not, like clam has enough flavor in of itself where you don't really need to season it. You sound like my daughter. You need seasoning in life. Do you see me? Yeah, I love fish and chips. It's one like, of my favorite. Like, it's you love fish classic, and chips? It's a classic. As long as it's done right. Oh, right? so what do you mean by done right? Well, the right seasoning, not too bland. I don't think people. I mean, the, the fish is soggy, I can't stand that. <laughs> yeah, no, soggy fish is not it. But, um, no, clams on the Cape is good, scallops, shrimp is okay it's here. Are the rocks hot? The rocks, they're not they're good actually. Burning your feet. No, I'm not burning my feet. I'm used to walking barefoot in a parking lot and asphalt gets so hot. It's horrible. These are fine. So this is the thing. I'm a very barefoot soul. I love walking barefoot everywhere. It's kind of a problem. No, I I um uh, <laughs> appreciate the people that can because my grandmother would never Really? So she just didn't like it because I guess because they grew up in Mexico somewhat poor. And it just reminded her of not being able to afford shoes. Oh. So therefore she wouldn't let me run around barefoot. Oh, in Brazil, like I'm always barefoot on the farm. And my cousins and my uncles and aunts are just like, why? And I'm like, because. Because I can't. But being barefoot's good for you. I don't know if you've ever heard of earthing or grounding. But it's an actual thing. Like so, the energy or what? Yeah, like I'm, I'm a whole geek, right? But like, why can you get electrocuted? Because the human body has conduction. We're grounded. Yeah, well, we, you know, like if we're not wearing rubber shoes, we can get electrocuted if we touch the wrong outlet at the wrong part, you know? Mm -hmm. So when you step on the earth, if it's sand or grass or dirt, whatever it is, there's a net negative charge on the earth and then yours is positive. And then it evens out. They yeah, it evens out. And it's actually good for your nervous system. Like some people feel anxiety and then if they walk barefoot in nature for like 30 minutes, their anxiety is gone. I'm like here just fascinated by my own shadow. Look. Oh. Sorry. I have the attention span of a squirrel. You've wore a cowboy hat before, right? Or no? Should I say yes or no? <laughs> Where are you gonna swim at? What's on like going that way? It's just the canal, right? Yeah, so this is where Cape Cod Canal begins. And there are two bridges that connect mainland Massachusetts to Cape Cod. There's the Sagamore Bridge, which is way down there. And then even further down the Cape Cod Canal is Bourne Bridge. So both of those go through the Cape Cod Canal and they connect the rest of Massachusetts to the Cape. And those bridges have like two lanes on each side. So when everybody wants to go to the beach, the bridge traffic is real. 
because it's like there's just so many people cramming into these tiny bridges and right after the bridges are conveniently rotaries and people do not merge well parkour oh. how come you wouldn't want to do sailboats i don't know it just doesn't interest me like having to do all Sir. that work you know what i mean that's a lot of work i think you're on a boat you want to relax i just feel like all boats are work but it's pretty Purdy. He's gonna get me into country music, you guys. He's about to get an Arab Latina who likes her ghetto ass yeah. regaton into country music. The impossible will be done. My ghetto ass is somehow gonna like regaton. I mean, no, I'm just kidding. I like regaton already. I mean country music. Oops. You lived in Cali at 18? Yep. What made you move there? My girlfriend. Ah. Anything for the <laughs> Hey, this is a family show. Are you sure? <laughs> Whenever I watch those nature documentaries and I see things like killing each other for mating rights, I'm just like, anything for see. I thought it was You know, like lions killing each other for the right to all the females and elephants and all the violence. Nature is a violent place. It's so pretty outside. It is nice. It is like the perfect day for it. Say hi. Woohoo! Look at this hat. It does look good on me. That was awesome. <clears throat> Speaking of garden, my dog is tearing up my garden like crazy. <laughs> yes, he's eating the tomatoes. He's only the second dog in my life I've ever seen eat tomatoes. You know, my friend was telling me the other day that he had a beehive under his porch and his dog tried eating bees. I want I want to know, like, if dogs were not domesticated, like, wolves are smart, but when dogs just go extinct, how could you be eating bees? True. I don't know. Like, my girl drinks salt water, and then your dog eats tomatoes, and my friend's dog eats bees. And he drinks the chlorine water oh, out of the pool. Me? So, funny thing is, yesterday I was watching him drink out of the pool, right? Okay. And so I told you the pool's leaking, so the water level's down a little. Yeah. So I actually see him, he's, he's bent down over into the pool. I think he could barely reach it. So he actually got down on his elbows and was drinking that way. Never seen anything like that. What if he ever fell in? No, I throw him in all the time. Oh. He hates it. <laughs> it's that I didn't get him... Um, during like spring where he was a puppy and I could get him used to swimming from the beginning. Yeah. So <clears throat> once the summer came, there was one day that was just, he wouldn't go near the water, right? Mm -hmm. So I just, one day, me and the boys were out there. I said, put the camera on. <laughs> so I went and grabbed him and just threw him in. <laughs> and uh, so he doesn't come near me when I'm around the pool. <laughs> he stays away. Oh my yeah, so I, I bought my grandparents a dog for Christmas when I was like, I don't know, like in my early 20s. Really? And uh, it was a Cocker Spaniel. His name was Chico. Chico? Chico. I love that. <laughs> I have a friend whose dog's name is Papito. I think your next dog's name should be Papito. <laughs> okay. Hey, look at yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. And then everywhere I go in the world, if I go to a beach and there's shells, I'm going to collect the shells from that beach, put it in a little Ziploc bag, like label it, this is where it is, from this country, from that beach. And then later on in life, I'm going to have a wall where I frame all the shells and say where they come from. And then that'll be like my shells from around the world. Right. You know, and it'll be like my little memory. What is that called? Like when you do something like that, that has the time, time frames and locations yeah, I, don't I don't know either not a memento no no i don't know can't think of it look at that rock why is it standing up oh see those are the lobster traps 
Yeah. That is a gorgeous view. Right? Isn't it unbelievable? That is nice. Thanks for suggesting this place. That doesn't look nice, but... <laughs> no, but we just leave it out. What is that? Is that like a... So let's hope I don't this one backwards again. Hold on. Step it on, right? Okay. You'll, you'll need to get to learn to do it one-handed. Really? Right? Grab it, one grab it right in the right? middle. Okay. Yeah. That's what that little indent is for? <laughs> there you go. That? Well, it helps. But what if that's literally why it was made? I mean, it helps, yeah. Oh, my Lord. I learned something new every day. So yeah, the dog is eating the tomatoes. Okay. He eats the green ones and the red ones. Oh man. He's just, yesterday I walked out and half of my jalapenos are broken. And there was a jalapeno laying on the deck. Oh my God. And then I turned around to look for my dog and he's hiding. Cause he knows, he knows we, he did something and I'm about to- Don't burn the dude? I don't know. He's not a normal dog. No, he's I'm actually thinking about opening up a TikTok for him. You should. He's going to be the Mexican Malinois. Oh, opening him a TikTok. Yes, no. just yes. videos for him. No, listen, animals are iconic. Yeah. You have to. <laughs> I love his little t-shirt. Vacate mode is on. What'd it say? <laughs> What'd it say? Vacate mode on. Oh. <laughs> lobster traps like that the colors all have to be to a certain person oh that would make sense yes because i see I, I know that's how they do it in maine anyways i would assume they do it here that way too maine is famous for its lobster and blueberries blueberries yeah blueberries grow a lot in maine and i think now that it's the end of august it's the season mm -hmm. so you're gonna want to get a bunch of blueberries Yeah, thanks for suggesting this place. It's really nice. I'm really glad you like it. I do. I came here once and it was like the day after rain and it was so, like the water was not clear. Because I think the very day after rain or the first hours after, the water has a bunch of like stuff all stirred up. So it's not and so clear. Like mm -hmm. But now it's gorgeous. Nice. Go ahead. Because his last name is Burton. Is that a common thing? I don't think so. Sorry. You're, you're fine. <laughs> oh, we got more fishers. That's so scenic. Yeah, see, they're, the rods are like, those are like 12 foot rods. Oh my god, somebody caught something. It's a weed. Oh. <laughs> it caught seaweed. Well, I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I seen a couple guys catch some stripers over there. They were pretty good size. Uh, yeah, I've never, I've, I want to catch a striper. That is like my bucket list fish. Um, oh, really? Yeah, and like take it home and eat it. Ooh. Supposedly. There's nothing better than fresh fish. fish. Yeah, absolutely. What is your best, what is your favorite seafood? Seafood? Damn, do I have a favorite? Because I just love all seafood. No, I do you too. Make it, okay, so if you make sushi, then my favorite is this thing called unagi, which is freshwater eel, but they barbecue it. It's really good. Mm. And then if it's Cape Cod seafood and it's like fried seafood, then it's clams. And then if it's on pasta, it would be like shrimp. You know? Gotcha. 
But then, I don't know, I'm just, I'm obsessed. I love seafood. I could give up beef. I could never give up seafood. Oh. <laughs> well, so shrimp would be, I, I love all the seafood, but shrimp would be my number one. Shrimp is your number one? Yeah, because, I mean, you can do it about any way. Um, I can live on a cow. You can live on a cow? Yeah. I mean, literally, like, there's times where I'll just have a gigantic steak. I don't need anything else. Yeah. That's That'll be the whole meal. My go-to, because it's easy to cook and I love to eat it, is just seafood and veggies. Like, I'll just rice, seafood, veggies, some spices. It's good. Oh. I hope I actually find a starfish. That'd be cool. It's a fish skeleton. Oh, not bad. Isn't it nice? There's always that one level that is just If I were you, I can hold that. What's that? It kind of is. Kind huh? of. Kind of. Yeah. You can stand on that rock and it, that way you don't freeze. He's like, I'll I'll tough it out. Okay. See, I'm just so comfy here. You look like you're in your element. <laughs> Do you like chilling on the rocks because you don't, you don't want to go through the trees? Go for it. 